Hi, I'm Jeremy Yoder from Mad Scientist Barbecue, and today I'm going to show you how to grill chicken but keep it delicious and moist while using your Pits and Spits pellet smoker. You're only going to need two things to do this easy and simple recipe. Number one is the ultimate barbecue rub from Pits and Spits. This has tons of flavor that you're going to get on the exterior surface of the meat, and then you're going to add smoke on top of that, and then also you're going to need the chicken itself. I prefer to grill boneless, skinless chicken thighs because the dark meat has more moisture, there's more fat there, so it's just going to be a moister, juicier cut from the chicken. Now we're going to keep this really simple. So I'm just going to take this chicken out of the tray and hit it with some of this ultimate barbecue rub and put it on the smoker. Now because the chicken isn't very thick, you don't want to overdo the rub, so just a light coating on each side, and then it goes on. All right, so we're gonna let these guys cook at 300 degrees and gonna let them reach 165 degrees internal temperature. The reason we chose 300 as the cooking temperature is because we wanna cook hot enough that we actually get kind of a grilled flavor. And then also, if you cook too low, that gives a long time for the chicken to dry out. And the biggest enemy you're fighting with chicken is you gotta keep it moist. And so, to that end, 300, that I found, is the best temperature to grill this chicken. Okay, it's been about eight or nine minutes, and I'm gonna flip these so I get good marks on both sides and we get good caramelization. So just flip these to the other side. Okay, so all those are flipped and in about five minutes we're gonna come back and start checking temperatures. All right, these are starting to look really good. So it's time to check them for doneness. So we're gonna check the temperature. So I have a digital instant read thermometer right here, and what I'm gonna do is get in there and check the different pieces, make sure that they're all at 165 or higher. And so if they're all at that temperature, we can pull them and then they can be. These are all at 165 or above, so I'm gonna put them in a new aluminum tray. Don't use the old one, because they had raw chicken in it and then we're gonna let them rest for a few minutes just so the juices can redistribute, and then we get to cut one open and take a bite. All right, we've let this rest for five or 10 minutes just to kind of distribute juices again, and so now we gotta cut a piece and try it. But as I look at this piece of chicken here, I see we've got kind of a crust on the exterior from grilling it. We see the rub there. Uh, if you look at the side, there's lots of juice. It's moist. It's just kind of glistening here in the light. And uh, I want to know what this tastes like. So let's see. That's beautiful. In that bite, I got smoke on the exterior surface along with the rub, so really nice flavor there. And then the inside was nice and juicy, which is really hard to achieve with chicken, but doing it this way, you can get those results every single time. And you can feed a lot of people for not a lot of money. It's a great barbecue item to make.